Hello guys, welcome to Mark Shrimp Tanks. Today we're going to show you how to calibrate your AD12 pH meter if you have this version. Right? I know a lot of you guys will have different versions, but this is the one that I use. Um, I've had this for a while. And guys, it's always important that you calibrate your machine properly. I like to do it every single time. I know it's not necessarily... Um, needed that you do it as much as I do but guys I like to have the proper reading when I measure stuff in the tank right so with this one today I'm going to show you how to calibrate it properly uh, we're going to use uh, buffer probe calibration fluid from growth technology this is uh, pH buffer 7 this is pH buffer 4 this is a two-stage calibration we're going to use a little bit of reverse osmosis water as well to uh, clean the probe when we go from one to the other and guys for you that are not interested in that kind of thing we're actually just going to feed the shrimp at the back so you guys also have something to watch right so this is for everyone this video let's get this food in here i'll try and get it so that they come right to the middle and fingers crossed guys they play ball all right so this ad 12 meter is a pretty decent one i think i paid maybe sixty dollars for it or something like that i don't know what happened to my voice there but i think i paid sixty dollars for it right so to calibrate this guys um we're going to use both uh, solutions as i said right so how you calibrate this one is you turn it on and then when it's coming on like this you hold the on button until it says off you see it and this says calibration and then you let go right then it tells you which solution that you need to use right so it's saying here use 7.01 right so 7.01 let's get in here use 7.01 and it will change and it will tell us if uh, everything's all right sometimes this can take a little while so we'll just have a look at the shrimp as we're doing this as recording this little setting that it has here it's calibration come on don't take forever hello there little shrimpies and as i said i like to do this every so often because uh, your calibration can go off right so i like to quickly dip this in here just to make sure you get some of the solution off and then you put it in the 4.0 solution like so you see 4.0 and once this says ready it will be done these uh, shrimp at the back are calcio golden dragons they've had uh, lots of babies recently and um, it is worth doing this kind of thing guys it's worth making sure that your soil and stuff is working properly so when this is uh, finished we'll rinse it again and then we'll do a measurement on the tank right behind here right which is ada amazonia powdered come on finish up Sorry, guys it was finished it was actually finished i didn't notice the little uh, sign on the side had stopped calibrating so it was actually finished right so now we're giving it a little dunk in some fresh reverse osmosis water just to make sure that we get all the stuff off it going to dump this water here and we're going to test this tank at the back right so this is ada amazonia this is a powdered version and i reckon this is quite low this will be under six easily right so when you're doing this as well guys uh, you just have to make sure that you give your little uh, ph pen a little sugar to make sure that you get all the bubbles and stuff away from the probes because this bottom part is the part that houses all the probes and uh, you just have to give it time so, right, so I normally give this like a minute for it to settle alright let's have a look it's been a few minutes actually let's have a little look what does it say 5.75 which is probably correct for this tank ADA Amazonia is quite uh, has quite a low pH so anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you found it at all useful and you can get past all this glare on the screen, then please like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. Right? And I'll catch you all in the next one. Happy Shrimp Keep, guys. Whoop.